man enough for a scorpion butch pepper? <laughs> a new arms race is underway to grow and to eat the hottest peppers on earth. We're joining right now by Spencer Jacob. He is in the hot seat for the Wall Street Journal on this story. He joins me right now. You're alive, which means you didn't eat too many of these peppers. No, I almost killed one of the editors downstairs, though. He you gave know, them so, uh, some? Yeah, well, nice. he tried a spoonful of that, and uh, he was, uh, it yeah, took a few hours for him to get back to normal. That's what happens if you don't get a huge raise here. All right, so let's talk about what's driving this, tr this trend. Are people getting hurt eating these peppers? They're not literally getting hurt, so no one has died from eating a pepper, but it does hurt. And capsaicin, the chemical that makes peppers hot, releases, it, it stimulates the, the nerves that give you a sensation of pain and that release endorphins, which is why some people really like eating them. Some people actually, are, who I spoke to for this story, are literally addicted to eating hot peppers because of the sort of the, the pleasure sensation they get from, from pleasure, eating them. Because the yeah. endor of the endorphins right. you get. How, how do you, Spencer, how do you measure hotness of a pepper? Well, there was a guy named Wilbur Scoville many years ago who set out to measure the hotness of a pepper. He didn't have the tools that we have today. And what he would do is make a solution of alcohol, dip it in, uh, with the, the spicy substance, dip it into water, mm. and then when you couldn't taste it anymore, that was the Scoville score. That's the Scoville okay. score, right. So this, this bottle right here, this is 550,000. If you took a drop of that and took 550,000 drops of water, then you wouldn't taste it anymore. You would, that's how much that's you would how need. That's how much you have to need. Now, the and spice, you, you've the, tasted this? I, yeah, I've tasted it a few yeah, times. I've, you know, I've kind of been building it up you know, as part of the story. You know, but right. Report. I suffer from my art. But <laughs> the, the spiciest pepper on earth today is, is, uh, hit 2 million. 2 Scoble million. Heat Scoble. And they've proven this. They've proven this. They've done um, chemical tests so they can, they can actually measure the, the presence of the chemical. 2 million, just to put that in perspective, that's police grade pepper spray. Oh, so, which you would not want coursing through your veins. No, you wouldn't want to eat that, right? So, <laughs> hey, but these you, people do. Can you die? For, has anyone ever died that they know of in tracking pepper deaths? <laughs> Right, has anyone died from eating a pepper? So uh, according to Paul Bosland, who's the uh, probably the world's greatest expert on, on chili peppers at New Mexico State University, no one has ever died. It can't even give you an ulcer, but it can make, it, it, people have gone to the hospital. And there are some stories of people who had, you know, maybe they had a weak heart or something, and then they, you know, kind of as a secondary result, yeah. you know, they, they, they did die from eating something very spicy. Because it's all about bragging rights for these guys, right? Like it's Absolutely. like I've eaten the hottest pepper and you get in the Guinness Book of World Records and it's it, world records. It seems to have heated up in the last 18 months. Do these, when you're handling the peppers, do they have to like wear a hazmat suit or gloves? They do, they do. They wear breathing apparatus. They wear uh, multiple sets of gloves for these very, very spicy peppers. And um, because it, it actually will corrode the, the skin on your hand. It's an irritant. It's, it's like pepper spray. And so if you, if you hold it for a long time, you'll get blisters. And, um, and then breathing in the fumes will, will hurt your, your lungs and your nasal passages. So you have to be pretty careful. But then these guys eat them, which is, which yeah. is kind of incredible to me. But I mean, I, even this sauce, which is maybe a fourth as spicy as the, the spiciest thing on earth, or the spiciest natural thing on earth, is, is pretty hot. It's, I was really blown away by how spicy it was. Scalds your skin, makes your eyes well up. You, but let's eat it. Good idea, right? Good idea. Well, I mean, it's, you know, it's sort of, you don't brag about say, yeah. you know, I ate something really sweet last night, Good or point. I ate something really salty. You know, this is the kind of thing you can really brag about, and it's a bit of machismo. And the peppers taste good, supposedly. You know, that's what the people who, who eat them on a regular basis say, that they, they enjoy the taste as well. I see a reality show coming up, don't you? Exactly. All right. Spencer, thanks so much Thank for being you. with us. More in the Wall Street Journal.